Go ahead and fire away. We're going to drop some, some games on the road. How is it important to steal one now? I, mean, I know it's a tough place to play, and I know the schedule sets up that way, but how is it? how important is it to you know, maybe get one on the road but going in a tough environment? Yeah, with how this conference is, um, you can't take any game for granted. You know, there's no gimmies, there's no layups. So you go on the road, you're going to get everyone's best shot. Um, so just making sure that we're ready for that and we're prepared. You know, there's no there's no team where you can just kind of go in and be like, all right, yeah, check that one off. That's a win. So especially in an environment like, like Iowa State um, and a team like that, you know, how well coached and how hard they play, you know, you got to make sure that you bring it every night or you're going to go get beat. So. Parker, in the context of your role serving as Hunter's backup, just how has your understanding of like what that role requires from you evolved over the course of this season? Yeah, it's going to change game to game. Um, you know, I want Hunter to play 40 minutes and get 30 points every night if he can. You know, just whatever's asked of me, I think, you know, you're going to see games where he's got fouls or, or certain matchups that kind of bother him. So just if I can come in and be a change of pace or just give him something when he's tired or, you know, whatever the team needs, I think is something that I've kind of embraced. and. Well, it's kind of maybe harder to prepare for, just making sure you're always ready and, and making sure you're ready for that next man up mentality. Do you guys have more motivation? Obviously, some of those road losses, again, Iowa State's a pretty tough place to play. What experiences or what lessons did you guys learn from those previous road games that you want to take into Iowa State? Or is coach saying something different? Is your guys' mentality different? What goes into that when you kind of have some of those tough losses? Um, when you got a team like this and a coach like this, you go into every game expecting to win. That's kind of how it is around here. but. Um, so it felt like we, we dropped a couple. So um, if you want to win this conference, you can't drop many. And uh, with how it is, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure you win every game, especially on the road. So um, bring, get, try to get as many as you can is, is kind of the key to winning this conference. And that's kind of what we gotta do now is just take it one game at a time and hopefully chip away and, and try to get back up to the top spot. You, you talked about your familiarity with this place and kind of haven't been around and also played some power five basketball as well. Does that help? With regard to your role as maybe sort of a bench captain, uh, you know, you got a bunch of young guys there, and then even Nick's new to this level of basketball. Are, are you taking on more of a role of, hey, this is what we need to do as reserves and bench guys, and, and has that changed over the year too? Yeah, no doubt. I think one of the most valuable things I can bring um, is just everything off the court. You know, I've been here a long time. This is year 24 for me. So, uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of different looks, seen a lot of different players, coaches, and programs. So uh, just kind of bringing whatever knowledge I can to those young guys, help them come up, you know, just whatever I can, whatever I can do, whatever I can tell them. And, and uh, hopefully they listen, you know, the young guys have done a great job listening to the older guys. And well, I think the older guys have done a good job leading by example. But, um, you know, being someone that can come to the bench and tell them what I see or something like that, and hopefully it can help them is something that I've kind of embraced as well. What are, with Jamari and, and El Marco specifically, what, what do you see from them on, on game nights? I mean, locked in from the start, are they, are they, you know, hey, we've been here now, this is how it goes, or are they still kind of finding their way through that? Yeah, I think one thing that I've noticed from those two is they're just, they're both great team guys. You know, no matter what's asked of them, you know, Amari can get DMP some nights, El Marco cannot start, but they're going to bring in, they're going to just, whatever the team needs, whatever coach asks them to do, they're going to do. Um, you know, that can change and that can be tough when you're that young coming from, you know, how highly recruited those guys are and they're used to being the guy. So um, coming to a program like this, I think they've both done a great job kind of realizing that, you know, maybe that they can take a step down kind of like that and, and learn from the older guys and then hopefully grow their game. I think that's something that I've also noticed um, from game in to game day, like you said, you know, just how much they've matured and how much they've grown as players. I think it's something that also um, They've really grown, and uh, I think they have a really bright future. And uh, I think hopefully that, you know, with time in this program and uh, with players that they're around, they're going to really blossom into to really great futures. Parker, how much have you followed Iowa State's season, and does anything stand out to you about that team? Yeah, um, they play really hard. They've got some great wins. Um, really talented team, really well coached. But I think what stands out most is just how hard they play. Um, they put themselves in a great position to win every game, no matter where they're at, no matter who they're playing. So um, we got to make sure that we bring it. You know, it's, it's going to kind of come down to hopefully the last couple possessions and, you know, who can execute better. They've got they've got a lot of older guys and a lot of talented players. So, you know, it's going to come down to who can execute better. And uh, they've got the home court, so we're going to have to make sure that we're doing everything we can to give ourselves whatever advantage we can get. Anything else? You only get to play them once this year, so does that extra motivation? Yeah, no doubt, um, especially going to their building. You know, I think that's 
should be all the motivation you need, um, especially with a talented team like that. They're going to be competing for that top spot with us. So, you know, getting that game uh, over them is something that can be really critical down the road. So, um, you know, just taking it one game at a time is something that we kind of have to do now that we've dropped a couple. But um, definitely looking just next game ahead, um, they're going to be the most important game. So. Does it seem to you on the road teams tend to hit threes more? Like WVU was nine of eleven at one point. Yeah, um, when you have Kansas across your chest, you know it's it's a big target. So everyone's gonna get their best shot. You're gonna get everyone's best night. It's gonna be everyone's Super Bowl. So um, you know it's just something you gotta live with and you gotta know and you gotta respect when you put the the name across your chest. So. All right, thanks, Parker. Thanks, Parker. Thanks, Parker. Thanks, Parker.